But the biggest of 2018's new laws is the Republican tax plan. And that's changing all sorts of rules. Most of the new tax code does go into effect the first of the year. The new law limits deductions for state and local income taxes and property taxes. Nationwide, people who make less than $25,000 will see an average tax cut of just $60. Those making $50,000, just under $600. But those making more than that will see tax savings well into the thousands of dollars. Wealthy families and corporations could see the biggest gains. The estate tax exemption would allow couples to pass on twice as much, $22 million with no inheritance tax. That's right. You know, you don't think of it like this, but it's always tricky to change the estate tax law, especially when it happens overnight. Because a rich person dying before or after midnight on New Year's Eve could change how much their kids inherit by millions of dollars, which must have been awkward for some families. <laughs> it's like, granddad, please, don't die for 10 more minutes, please. <laughs> please don't die for 10 more minutes, please. <laughs> and then at 12.02, granddad is like, actually, I think I'm gonna make it. And he's like, shh, <laughs> shh, don't fight, granddad. <laughs> the new tax law is now in effect. <laughs> And overnight tax changes uh, don't just affect which day you're going to murder your grandfather. The new tax law has many Americans still trying to figure it all out. The ongoing confusion created by the new tax law. Tonight, accountants say their offices are being flooded with questions. Homeowners are spending this last week of 2017 standing in lines at county offices trying to prepay 2018's tax bill before the end of the year. Man, that sucks. People had to skip their New Year's parties for tax preparation. Although it would be cool if some folks tried to do both. Because I just love the idea of someone waking up on January 1st with vomit on the ground and tax forms scattered everywhere. <laughs> you know, just like, oh man, how many deductions did I take last night? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, while, and while the middle class was scrambling to save some money before the new law hit, Trump and his uh, upper classmates were celebrating the truth. We're told the president is still celebrating passage of the Republican tax cut bill. Sources with first-hand knowledge tell CBS News that he told a group of wealthy people at his exclusive Mar-a-Lago estate, quote, you all just got a lot richer. Yeah, that one line sums up the whole Trump administration for me. The dude spent months selling Americans on a tax cut that he claimed was for the middle class. Don't forget this guy. This is gonna cost me a fortune, this thing. Believe me. Believe me. This is not good for me. Me, it's not so. I have some very wealthy friends. Not so happy with me, but that's okay. And then he signs the bill, goes straight to his Palm Beach hotel, and delivers the real good news to the Americans he's rarely serving. Yeah. You know what? I feel like we just need Trump to start holding all his press conferences at Mar-a-Lago since it seems like that's the only place that he really tells the truth.